Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on my session on Armoring Cloud Native Workloads with BPF LSM. I'm Barun Acharya, a software engineering intern at Acunox. Let's first talk about the need to armor up your workloads. With the rise of adoption of modern cloud native infrastructure, so has risen the cyber attacks on the same. With the rise in recent vulnerabilities like Log4j and Ponkit, there's an ever more demanding need to enforce runtime security. So what existing mitigation mechanisms do we have for enforcing runtime security? We have Linux security modules, LSMs like AppArmor, SC Linux, Landlock. These are mature ecosystem of hooks to enforce various security models. LSMs handle time of check and time of use problem very well. Then we have SecCom. Secure computing, which helps in sandboxing by restricting actions available to the containers. LSMs and SecCom are Linux kernel features, but we can mitigate these using user space techniques as well, like using LD preload. But each of these come with their set of drawbacks, especially in the context of cloud native workloads. Like LSMs are not well integrated with the dynamic environment of Kubernetes and Docker. There's a steep learning curve associated with the policy language of LSMs. Different versions of LSMs behave very differently. For example, SC Linux treats everything inside a container as a single entity. Dynamic enforcement is not possible for secure computing. Limited, there are limited filtering options and filtering cannot work with object reference. For user space controls, there are limited deployment options. Like you can only override using dynamic libraries, but the attacker can still invoke syscalls without going through the dynamic library at all. Such as anything written in Go doesn't use libc dynamic library and calls the kernel directly. Enter pod security context. A security context defines privilege and access control settings for a pod or a container. Security context settings include, but are not limited to, SecCom, Capabilities, AppArmor, SC Linux. Pod security context helps solve some of the problem, especially integrating traditional mitigation systems with the modern Kates infrastructure. But we still need to learn the policy language for various primitives and tame differences in behavior accordingly. Suppose you have a cluster spanning multiple nodes. A few supporting app armor and a few supporting SA Linux. We will need policies for both of them and tame the differences behavior accordingly. Enter BPF LSM. BPF LSM combines the power of the LSM framework, which provides with necessary hooks for inline security enforcement with the flexibility and observability powers of eBPF to help secure our modern cloud native workloads more efficiently. Let's venture how these power can be utilized today. We very recently had a vulnerability known as PawnKit, in which an unprivileged user could gain root privileges. Mitigations involved removing SUID bit from exploitable binaries or updating the systems with patched packages. But Dennis here created a simple BPF LSM program which hooks onto BPRM check security and blocks execution of any process with arcs equal to zero, which solves the root problem of the vulnerability. But what if you need your program to have arcs equal to zero? You can tweak the BPF LSM program to exclude your cloud native workload or limit the BPF program to unprivileged users only. That's where BPF LSM shines. You have the flexibility to tweak it according to your needs. Let's look at another project, KIMG Log. It is part of the BPF Log project. Lockdown LSM, which aims to restrict access to the running kernel image and was introduced in the Linux kernel in 5.4. But it is too restrictive and disables some necessary features like BPF. So ironically, this project re-implemented a subset of features leveraging BPF LSM, while still preserving the ability to leverage other LSMs for security enforcement in other parts. eBPF has changed the game for observability and monitoring. With BPF LSM, we can hook onto strategically better place points in the kernel 
and can help us avoid vulnerabilities exploiting time of check and time of use. Like we can see in this figure, a BPF hook on 6 exec v may or may not know if there was a malware executed or not, but the LSM probe would definitely know it. This was covered in much better way last year by KP and Leonardo when they introduced BPF LSM to us on this stage. So to summarize, how we can leverage BPF LSM today is virtual patching, a quick program to prevent an exploit or a new vulnerability. We can have security mitigations in place without full-blown policy rules. We can stack with existing LSMs to set up a security perimeter tailored for our own workload. We can gain more observability at points better located than just tracing syscall since LSM hooks are strategically placed in the kernel. But is this enough to protect our workloads? Did we address all the pain points we pointed out in the beginning? The things we saw BPF LSM is capable is just the beginning and proves that it is capable of much more. But the ecosystem is still nascent and we can build a more holistic tool to enforce runtime security, leveraging information from orchestrators, container managers, syscall, and LSM hooks to help armor up our cloud native workloads. We at Cube Armor want to solve this problem by combining the LSM superpowers with the metadata of cloud native workloads, simplifying the security enforcement. Cube Armor already integrates with App Armor and SLNS to help secure our cloud native workloads, translating declarative simplified policies to complex LSM rules. But we have had difficulties taming the differences in behavior of various LSMs. With the flexibility that BPF LSM brings, we are positive about integrating it into the Cube Armor to build a cloud native runtime security enforcement engine. You can track our work at the link mentioned here. I would like to end this on the note BPF LSM could possibly change the runtime security landscape for application security just the way eBPF changed it for network security. Thank you.